Hey guys, it's Heather from The Raw Buzz, and today we have an amazing raw vegan cinnamon roll. Now these are out of this world, and they're so easy to make. You don't need that many ingredients. And they're perfect for summer days, for days that you really don't want to bake, and they're a lot healthier than traditional cinnamon rolls. Actually, these are probably the healthiest cinnamon rolls you can get. So enough chatter, let's get on to the video because I'm hungry. So for this recipe, you're gonna need four ripe and spotty bananas for the dough part. If your bananas are not ripe and spotty, the recipe won't be good. Make sure the bananas are not too ripe as they will break apart easily. These are almost on the verge of too ripe. So you'll want to slice the bananas vertically in three pieces each by placing your finger on the end of the banana and gently pressing into it to find the natural split that all bananas have. Place your sliced bananas into the dehydrator at 115 degrees for 8 hours. You want to put them on this mesh tray so they can have the air circulate but not stick to the tray. So you're going to need 1 4th teaspoon vanilla powder. You're going to need 3 4 cup nut milk, of your choice, 15 beautiful wet medjool dates, you'll need 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, and last ingredient, 1 teaspoon almond butter. So you're going to add all your ingredients into the blender and then blend at a high speed. You're going to need to use the tamper because it is very, very thick, but just keep at it and keep at it until it gets nice and smooth just like a caramel would be. You'll want to place your sweet cinnamon spread into the fridge while the bananas dehydrate. For the magic of video editing, 8 hours have already passed and we can check on our bananas. You'll know when the bananas are done dehydrating because they will be able to be rolled up without breaking, but they're not dry. <clears throat> Take the slices of banana and spread the caramel along them. And then you're going to want to roll the banana slices up just like this. With your leftover broken pieces of banana, you can wrap them around each other to make a cohesive roll. Now you will have a lot of leftover filling with this, so you can use this for all sorts of different applications, or you can just eat it by the spoon, which is pretty good. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video and are able to make them yourself. Please press the thumbs up button if you like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!